Hello guys, I'm NextAfterW, and I'm going to show you guys how to play Beat Saber with a GTX 1650. Now, one thing you got to know, you're, you'll be playing Beat Saber on probably one of the most unsupported um, VR graphics cards. So, uh, it's not going to be the prettiest, but if we're going for performance, I can show you guys how. Alright, so, first thing you want to do, after you have bought in the official version of Beat Saber, is, and, uh, got all your VR headset connected, I'll be using a Quest 2. Just click on Play. Beat, sh Beat Saber should load up normally. Mm. And it's going to be a little bit slow because, well, you're on a 1650. And it might be a little bit slower for me because I'm using a hard drive instead of a M.2 SSD or any form of SSD. Okay. Once you're in the game, it's going to be a... it might be a bit laggy at first. So, to optimize things, what you want to do is open up the Steam menu. You guys can't see it, but you're going to go into the settings for Beat Saber, and you're going to see Custom Resolution Multiplier. Turn that down to about 63. You may you may you may be able to do it higher. It's just me. Um, once you save that, your game is probably going to look quite bad. Um, what you want to do next is go into the settings of Beat Saber. Settings again. And right now you're looking at the graphics. You're going to be turning pretty much everything off and to low. First starting with anti-aliasing. Turn that completely off. Just, just, just do it. Um, render scale. This is going to determine how sharp the gameplay is. I usually keep it around 1.4 because this performance is not much better than like what the regular Beat Saber on the Quest would be. Um, everything seems good. Max Shockwave Particles. You can turn that to 0 or you can turn that to 1. I keep it at 1. It's my preference. Um, smoke, turn that off. Screen distortion effects, turn that off. Bloom post process, turn that off. Mirror quality, that one, turn that one completely off. It can suck out quite a bit of performance if you have, even if you have it on low. So you want to turn that off. Once you've done that, and load up the game. It's going to be a bit more sharper and possibly less lag gears. Mm, yeah. Now with this method, you can do this method if you don't want custom songs or, or anything because it works just fine. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys how to put custom songs on. And basically make your Beat Saber modded. Alright, now the website that you're going to want to go to is called Mod Assistant. You're going to download Mod Assistant. I'm not going to download it here because I already have it installed, but once you do have it, probably gonna be about right here. You're probably you're gonna be uh, you're going you want to agree to any other terms. If you don't, you can download any mods. 
on the left you're going to click on this mod page and you're going to see list of all the mods now things might be maybe looking a little crazy right now because I have a lot of mods installed but yours is going to look pretty bare so um what this means what these black and white check marks mean the black ones are the essential ones that you're going to have to install anyway um, the white ones are the additional ones that you can install now I don't know what your purpose is with mods maybe you want to play the really cool looking maps and so you'll need a few uh, few mods um, the import mods that you do need are under gameplay you'll need the mapping extensions that's quite important um, and in the libraries you're going to need noodle extensions and where is the last one at and under lighting you're going to need chroma those are essentially the most needed mods that you're going to have those are the important ones now for the extra stuff to spice up your gameplay you can download saber factory which will allow you to change your sabers and uh, they're not going to be available you just, have, you just have to download the sabers but anyway um, one mod that I recommend is particle overdrive under the cosmetics this will allow you to enable and disable the particles and that will help your game's performance so once you have checked everything you're going to want to go down here click install or update I'm not going to do that because I have already have everything installed but once you've done that you're going to want to open up Beat Saber And a good way to know if it's modded or not is look to your right or your left. You'll see mods, you'll see this mods tab. Of course you're not gonna have as many mods as me, but you'll see a few saw you'll see a few things there. You should have, if you download the Saber Factory, you'll see Saber Factory and such. I have a few more mods. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you guys a little bit of gameplay and give feedback of how my Beat Saber is working. Thank you if you've made it to this point in the video. Um, if you just came here for to see how it performs, I will be showing you guys right now a quick song. Let's do this song. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Um, for mod for the songs that have that use mods, like noodle extensions and mapping extensions. Um, they're obviously not going to perform as better as because they're sucking more performance out of your computer. But anyway, let's start playing. And for the most part, you may see a few pickups, but that's pretty much it.
Alrighty. Now everything that I saw on my screen was pretty much what you guys saw. And it performs really doggone good. Even with mods, it performs amazingly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's one of my first PC videos. If you guys have any comments about my methods, just comment them in the comment section. And have a great day, everyone.